Okay then, now then, who do you think is going to win the drag race down to the first corner out of these three Fords and the lone VW Polo? That's not an easy one to answer. That's a very tough call, and in this we have Townsend Bell and Steve Farpin in the two purple Ford Fiestas. Those cars are evenly matched in the Ford Rallycross starting grid here. And we have Steve Arpin, Anton Markland, and uh, Topi Heikinet. It's going to be very interesting to see what happens. Those two guys on the outside in the two purple cars um, have been giving each other advice, and, and they're two of the rookies in the field here. Um, one has done quite a bit of dirt racing on circle tracks. The other is an Indy car. That purple car we were just looking at is an Indy car driver. And he's had hardly any laps at all in the car. That's Townsend Bell there. I worked with him a little bit in IndyCar. And he's spent a couple of days behind the wheel of a Rallycross Lights car, which has about half the horsepower, just to get a feel for the handling dynamics of all-wheel drive on mixed surfaces. But this is unlike anything he's done before. Well, if you can handle the Indy 500 for seven starts, then maybe this is uh, all completely under control with regards to Townsend Bell's experience. Alongside him, Anton Markland, he's the youngest in the field. He's just 20 years old. Steve Harpin, he was fourth at Foz de Guasu. And uh, Heikkinen, the youngest rallycross medalist. He got a silver medal in Foz de Guasu at just 22 years old. We now wait for these guys to build up the revs. They are under starters orders here at X Games Munich. This is the fourth heat. It's underway as they pass down the first corner. Who is going to get the whole shot? It's going to be Heikkinen. He goes through. Townsend Bell, he's having a go. He's trying to make an outside move. He's figured this thing out, it looks like, but it didn't quite work for him. Oh, my goodness. Spinning but recovering fast because he's a professional racer, but Topi Heikkinen the guy who makes all the aggressive moves and made it through that mess out in front. Steve Arpin in second position. He sneaked ahead of Markland there. So it's 4 to 1 and 2. The VW Polo in third position. Markland, might he get through on the inside? Just couldn't get the front end of that Polo to grip. But look at Heikkonen. A flying fin if ever you need one. Yeah, absolutely. And Steve Arpin trying to hold on to second place there as he comes around the corner on the tarmac. Two cars through the Joker lap and it worked for the Volkswagen Polo. So in second position, oh, barging through goes Bell, getting very sideways, that, that is going to lose him some drive, brilliantly done by Steve Arpin, but now he goes wide, and then Bell goes back through, bits of the uh, bumper hanging off, that won't be a problem, let's hope he doesn't damage the radiator or the intercooler, maybe Arpin's got the better line on the inside to this 180 degree left-hander, yes he has, great racing! Engine cooling is in the rear of these cars, and so that the dirt doesn't get the front and, and affect the heat, the cooling system, um, and bumpers can fly off, it's not going to do any damage, it's protected in the hatch, the hatch there, so we are going to see a lot of body panels flying. The only thing is because we are racing for two days, this is race day, race day number one of two, these guys have two shots at gold, and they're going to maybe try not to hurt their cars today, but I'm looking at a lot of flat out racing, so maybe I'm not sure that that's the case. Through the dirt they come once more. Let's have a quick reminder of the leader. Here we are on the third lap of six. Heikkonen, youngest rallycross medalist, just 22 years old. And he's a man who has really put his career towards rallycross from a young age, similar to Markland, rather than being a rally stage driver and then coming to rallycross. That's a, that's a good, fresh approach from the field. He's been very focused on it. He's known as one of the more aggressive drivers in the field. Uh, it was Heikkinen, of course, who shorted the jump last year at X Games and was unable to compete due to injuries. He's back in action, and it's great to see him out here. He does make some moves that the other drivers might call questionable, um, but here this has been some good, clean racing. He just, he's looking for the lead of this pack, and he's going to take it, and in, in this case, he's out there, doesn't have to worry about it. He's got a clean windscreen. There is Markland. He's in second place. He will be advancing. Oh, bits of bodywork just bumping off. Well, the uh, VW Polo, it's in the World Rally Championship. It's been developed in the uh, Volkswagen Motorsport uh, headquarters, which are in the north of Germany, near Hanover. But this is a car that has been developed by Anton Markland himself in Sweden. 
he must be very proud. He's a driver, he's part of the team, he's got his name over the door. That's a lot of plates to keep spinning at one time. And he's got Matthias Ekstrom competing alongside of him. He's, you know, one of the, the youngest driver in the field. Number 92 is his year of birth on the door there. So he's well aware. I cannot get over this, the counter steering these guys are doing, especially on the tarmac as you look at them come around, look at those front wheels, they turn them and then they've got to catch the car and keep it going. Last lap now starting, just half a lap remaining in this fourth and final heat. Over the line goes Heiken and here comes Markland. Brilliant starts as the nose rises, that's very rally cross. It's a little bit softer on the rear to dig in and grip and try and put that 550 horsepower down on this ever wetting tarmac that we've got here in Germany. These Half a lap to go. These cars are usually set up pretty stiff, so we don't see quite this much roll. But here, with all of this muck and so much slick surfaces, this is how they've got to do it. They've all got full soft, soft springs, soft bars, everything, just to try and get as much grip as they can. But the grip has been found by Thomas Heikkinen, coming over the line, winning the fourth heat and advancing to the final. Here is Markland coming through, and he advances to the final with a brilliant second position that he has clinched here in this six-lapper. So close was Arpin behind Markland. He was, what, eight-tenths of a second off that second position. Great drive from the Canadian Steve Arpin there in the number 32. Fourth over the line, Townsend Bell. But Arpin getting closer and getting more and more experience now underneath his right foot. He's going to be a man to look for in the 